have decided to extend the IUI camp for the month of June as well. Patients have been extremely happy and we have been able to give them good success rates due to which we have decided to increase the time for this IUI camp. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Suashla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Let's look at the treatment options for blocked tubes. Is there anything to do? We've already done a video on how they are assessed. Uh, we, I've talked to you about HSG, but let's see what the treatment options are. First and foremost, do not panic. Do not be anxious about what has been revealed to you. The report that says that you have blocked tube means um, something, yes, but it does not mean the end of uh, the treatment options available to you. So do not panic. Try to get as much information as you can from the radiologist who has done the HSG or your treating clinician, your fertility specialist. Now try to understand the fact that uh, tubes are two on either side of the uterus attached or connected in some way to the ovaries. And if one tube is blocked, you can still get pregnant. It does not mean that your 50% chances of your pregnancy are is not there. It means that only one tube is patent, which is open, and you can still try for pregnancy. The uh, chance of success is quite increased even with a single tube because the functional ovary, that is the functional, the tube which is functional, and that side, if the uh, egg is growing in the ovary and it is released, the chance of success is still there. Everything depends on where th exactly the blockages there are two types of blockages one is a proximal tubal blockage and the other is a distal tubal blockage so if the side that it's attached to the uterus is blocked it is called the proximal uh, tubal blockage the side that is attached to the ovary is blocked is called the distal blockage so these are the two types now let's understand the proximal blockage first when we do an hsg uh, the uterus goes under mild contractions and if there is a, a, a thinning of this tube or uh, rather it shows that it is blocked it is kind of a natural response of the uterus to the HSG because it is contracting there are muscular contractions so therefore it is narrowing such blockages can uh, be confirmed by uh, saline sonography it can be repeated HSG can be repeated and most often they come out normal so this is a response to the HSG procedure itself distal blockages however are more severe and need uh, surgical interventions these uh, can be opened by uh, surgical intervention success rates are low but the treatment option is uh, wonderful which is IVF in, in vitro fertilization where the eggs are collected the embryos are made and put into the endometrium into the uterus for uh, pregnancy the chance of success with uh, tubal blockage is very high but yes I have to mention that what kind of a tubal blockage is there is what is uh, of importance suppose there is a hydrosalpinx as in there is fluid filled inside then there is toxicity which is also affecting the uterus so we need to evaluate why the tubes are blocked what is it that we can do to open them if there is an option at all if not your treatment options are wonderful your success rate are extremely good with IVF depending on the woman's age if you want to understand more about tubal blockage and your chance of success with it please feel free to contact us on the numbers that you see on the screen a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you